Not you too, hungry bot. Not you too. This is Hungrybot, another great creation from the user on Thingiverse called Free Time for Why. He's the same person that created the drumming robot we did a couple months ago. Another great project that involves 3D printing, Arduino, and a starter to robotics, and it's very inexpensive to build. It'd be a great first project for anyone, especially somebody that was younger. And I have to admit, it's very entertaining. So let me make this as easy as possible and show you how to build one of these. Here are the printed parts you'll need. You'll need an inner body. This is what holds what the robot eats. A link from the arm to the mouth. The bottom to the robot. The main body of the robot. The head. A guide. This is a servo bracket. And the hand. And here's all the non-printed parts you'll need. You'll need an MG90S servo and its accessory pack. Four 2mm screws, these are the same type of screws that will come with your servo that you're using to mount it. Some type of distance sensor, I'm using a sharp infrared analog sensor. An Arduino Nano. Some extra DuPont connectors, these are female to female. And a couple of zip ties. The first thing we'll do is go grab the source code. Happy Things Maker has already generated all the code we need to make the robot work. All we have to do is download it and open it up in our Arduino IDE. As always, links to all the software and the IDE will be in the description below. So we'll download the zip, we'll head to downloads, and we'll extract all. We'll double click to open it up in the IDE. It's a pretty simple code, but we need to get it onto our Nano. So we'll plug our Nano into the computer via USB. We'll head to tools, we'll select the Nano board, we can leave the processor as default. We'll select the port it's on and we'll hit upload. If you get errors when you try to upload your code to the Nano, you might need the CH340 driver. Links to that in the description below as well. Now that we're done with the code portion, let's build our robot. So to be able to hook up to our Nano board, we need our sensor wires and our servo wires to be singular. So we need each one of these to have their own independent connectors. The sensor wires don't have any connectors at all. So the easiest way to do this is to actually solder on some female jumper wires. Since I have DuPont connectors available, I'm just gonna create my own and crimp them on, but you can just solder these on or tape them on even if you like. So I'll just clip the plug off my servo and I recrimped all the connectors to break them out so I can select where I wanna put them. We'll do the same with the IR sensor. And now we've got new ends on the IR sensor. Now we'll take the arm piece and the single horn that we got with the servo kit and we'll attach it to the arm piece with the two servo mounting screws. It'll go like this, so the servo goes to the inside of the arm. Now the servo horn is attached to the arm. Now we'll take the servo and we'll slide the mount on. And then the servo goes in the body with the gear portion up. And you'll know up because there's a hinge for the lid. So the servo mounts like this and we'll put two screws in both ends that go into that servo mount. There's the servo mounted on the body. Now we'll slide the sensor into the opening in the body like this. Once the cables are out of the way, you can slide the basket in. The hole in the basket is gonna line up with the hole in the side of the body. It should line up just like that. So now we'll put the arm on the body. We're going to use the zip strips like nuts and bolts, and we'll just cut off the excess. So we'll slip one through the center of the body, through the armhole, through the arm, and then we'll use the other zip strip to secure it. Then we can just cut off the excess. Then on the other side, you can slip the horn onto the servo. We'll do the same process to attach the head. We'll just set it on there run a zip tie through one side, and then use another to lock it in place. And the head moves pretty easy. Now we'll put the linkage on that connects the arm to the head. This is what opens the head when the arm moves up. Again, with the same zip strip method, we'll run the zip strip through the linkage, slide it through the head, and then another to attach it. Same way linking it to the arm, the linkage goes on the inside of the arm. We'll use the same zip strip method. 
Now we'll check and see if it's working. The arm moves, the head should move. Looks good. Now we need to hook up to the Nano. We'll start with our servo. The servo, you can hook it up to the serial port on the top. The ground will go in the top right pin. The power will go in the top left pin. And the signal will go in the bottom left pin. So it should look like that. Then the sensor will go in the back on this rail. The second pin down is the sensor ground. The fourth pin down is the five volt power. And the fifth pin down, the A7 pin, is the signal. Now we'll run our USB cable through the back of the bot. Then you can secure the board inside the body. Then you can snap on the bottom piece. And there he is. But we need one more thing. There we go. Now let's plug him in USB for power and see what he does. How about a wing nut? How about a USB adapter? Some 5mm nuts. A spring. If your robot arm isn't going down or up far enough, you can just adjust the position of the servo horn. One tooth either way should correct the issue. If the robot's triggering too early or too much, you can adjust the threshold of the sensor in the code. Every IR sensor is going to be a little different. I found that the sensor that I use, about 100 works best. And then you can just re-upload the code. A huge thanks to Yu Chan Park for creating Hungrybot and all the cool projects that he makes. Check out Free Time for Why on Thingiverse. All of his information will be in the description below. If you liked this video, found it helpful, or just entertaining, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. How about a bunch of nuts? <laughs>